community lives, events, people, places, multicultural, sports, news, peace promotion, security, religious activities, children programs, human rights, asylum seekers and refugees, politics, health, African culture, entertainment, education, Australian culture, and lots more. Our community lives produced, directed, and hosted by Adeni Ekine. Our community lives, number one African-Australian multicultural and human rights program, only on this station. Keep watching our community lives on this station. Keep watching our community lives. Hi viewers, you're welcome to the program. This is our community lives coming to you from Melbourne, Australia, showing on Channel 31 in the best city in the world. And today I've got someone special by my side. His name is Dr. Daniel, and I would like him to introduce himself to you properly. Hello, sir. Hi, how are we? Good. So, uh, the, yeah, just, just Daniel will be fine. Uh, yeah. So can you tell us about uh, uh, more about yourself or a little bit? Because I know you as a doctor. I also know you as a thespian. I know you as a minister. I know you as a director of multimedia in okay. church. Okay. So just maybe just summarize and tell us more. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, the, what what I'm uh, what you'll have seen today um, I uh, is something that's quite um, that's something I'm really passionate about is sharing the. Um, the the Bible in ways for people that is that is fresh and new and exciting because often um, you know, as as a follower of Jesus I'll often read that text and I'll just let it wash over me and I won't le really let it impact me and uh, I was with a uh, a group called the Backyard Bud we were a group of um, Christians who got together and went right we're going to do something different uh, with how we present the Bible dramatically um, so we. Um, we actually had a group of 12 of us putting together um, and we did all of Mark's gospel uh, in the, the way that you saw before. And um, it, uh, we did a whole lot of other stuff after that and that was just something that we were really passionate about as a group. Um, and yeah, that's been, it's, it's been something I've really loved to do. I don't have as much time for it now. I've got, um, I, I run a business full time. I've got two young children. Um, and it's it's tiring and exhausting, and this like the preparation of this takes up a lot of evenings. Um, what looks like just five to seven minutes up on stage is more like you know that's three or four weeks of preparation. <laughs> um, so I don't do a lot of them because I don't really have three or four weeks of evenings to set aside. Um, but yeah, this is this is a, a big day. This is this is Resurrection yeah. Sunday. Yeah, Resurrection Sunday. Viewers, if you're watching this program, uh, probably maybe another time because our program is always uh, on repeat. And so, but today, as we're recording this, this is 2019, and uh, today is 21st, and we're doing the Easter Sunday, and uh, we've got a beautiful presentation about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ by. Uh, uh, Dr. Daniel and Daniel Furuja, and we in a in a short while now we'll be showing you the uh, drama clips. But before we go into the drama clips and uh, the story, I would just call it a ministration because it's just like a sermon. So, what uh, was the message all about? Oh, well, the uh, as in the the actual yeah the, okay. Yeah. So what um, what we're looking at is the from the the biblical text from the discovery of the empty tomb by Mary Magdalene from John's Gospel um, through to the, uh, the the end of that section where it looks at uh, the disciples meeting in a locked uh, room in a house and Jesus appearing to them and uh, the the disciple Thomas who wasn't there then um, having Jesus appear to him later, which I, I love that part of the story because I've always I always consider myself a bit, someone who's going, you know, I want to see the evidence, I, w I want that, I want to see that there, and so I've I've got a real heart for Thomas. But the idea that they appeared to the rest of the disciples and then to Thomas a week later, 
is something that I think we don't really think about because they would have just been going, yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah, it's yeah. like, Jesus, and he's going, no, 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 I'm, 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 for a week. And then, you know, Jesus doesn't um, doesn't just say, well, that's it. You've just got to deal with that. He he meets Thomas where he's at and says, you know, here are see, here are my hands. See the... See the no- nails where the see the holes where the nails were. Put your hand in my side. Stop doubting and believe. And Thomas, faced with that that inconvertible evidence, just actually yeah. Thomas is someone like me because me too. I like seeing before I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> like natural thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, but again, the Bible says, "Blessed are those who have not seen but still believe." So, what in conclusion before we go into the segment of yeah. showing what you have done on stage today? Uh, what is the significance of the resurrection oh. to Christian, to the world, or even to unbelievers? Yeah. Well, the resurrection changes everything. It, uh, it's validation. It is proof that. Jesus was who he says he was. If he wasn't who he said he was, if he wasn't the Son of God, if his death didn't make a difference, then he was just a good teacher. Um, And at some sense, he was a bit of a liar because he said that he was the Son of God and that he would rise from the dead. Um, When someone says that, and they say that they're going to die and that they're going to rise again three days later, and then they do that, you better be paying attention to what they say. And if... You know, this event in history changes everything. For well, it does for me, um, and I think we see the the ripples of that in our in our culture, how we treat each other, how we're called on to love each other. That it's not just a, it's not all about, it's not just all about you. It's about what um, that God wants to transform the world in a way that is that is well that is transforming, that is that is life giving, and that's. Um, the resurrection, that new life in the resurrection is an amazing thing that really does change everything. And going into the theatrical aspect of it, which yep. can be secular, can be anything, you are a real professional thespian there. Oh. And uh, me, coming from a theatre background, yep. I really inspire, I, I got inspired by you. How did you come into this? How did you go for a special training to be? Because when you talk, you only did administration to a whole hundred of us today, yeah. and you were just, we were all captivated. And how have you come to achieve yeah. all this? So, the, um, we don't ha- I don't have a script that I work to as such. Um, well, no, that's not true, because we, we do use the biblical text, but when we're presenting this, rather than going, okay, I've got to say this word, then this word, then this word, um, the problem with that is that you remember it as, as words. Um, what we try and do is actually, um, we, we call it internalising, where you, instead of think of it as a series of words and what you've got to say, you go, this was the event that happened, and I'm going to convey that to the people who are listening. So... For example, when I'm talking about my wedding, I will go on at length about what happened and the events leading up to that day and how my wife and I met. But there's no... I'm not going to tell use the same words every time because I was there, OK? What I'm doing with it, what we try and do with biblical storytelling is we're trying to internalise those stories so that then we can share them with people and so we'll, we'll just practise doing that over and over again and the words flow out of that, of having that... Um, Having that ex- that uh, process where you go, this is something I can visualise it. I can see it there. It's just behind my closed eyelids, and describing that and taking people on that journey. So we, when we've done this in the past, we haven't gone. I, I come from a, a theatre background, and I've got some experience in theatre, and I did drama as a kid. But when we first did this storytelling of Mark, we had a very diverse range of people. We had people who had done theatre before, people who had never done theatre before, people who were afraid of speaking in front of other people. But for them, because these stories are so important, that they they took them on and they shared them with people in a really sincere and genuine way. And that transformed how they presented it. And it just, it was... So it's different from everyone. Every Everyone who, who does this sort of thing, they present their... They internalise it in a different way and what they share is different. 
um, and they'll bring something different to how they they share it with a, a group of people but this is this is me this is these stories are really important to me and I want to convey that to other people so that they get a sense of what what the, the value in these stories are. Thank you so much. Don't forget our conversation. I'll come for you to train me uh, and I'll come with some, some <laughs> yes. group. Yeah, because, yep. yeah, but... It's, it's, on, yeah. it's on film now, so yeah, I'm so, in. Yeah, yeah. So now uh, we're going now to show the uh, viewers uh, the stage. Uh, thank you for permitting us to film this and send it to the public. And uh, what is the name of, uh, what was the, the title of your presentation today? Oh, it's uh, the, I guess it's the resurrection account of Jesus taken from John's gospel. It was right near the end. Yeah, thank you viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Don't blink your eyes, stay tuned. And this is Dr. Daniel. Don't blink your eyes. <laughs> community lives, events, people, places, multicultural, sports, news, peace promotion, security, religious activities, children programs, human rights, asylum seekers and refugees, politics, health, African culture, entertainment, education, Australian culture, and lots more. Our community lives. Produced, directed, and hosted by Adeni Ekine. Our community lives. Number one African Australian multicultural and human rights program. Only on this station. Keep watching our community lives on this station. Keep watching our community lives.